Hi, Russ of Aquarium Max Pets here, and today's video will share some highlights from day two of our Sky Island Adventure 2023. Jesse started the day off by taking us to a creek in a canyon where we saw these amazing damselflies. These, the red on its wings. these are great spread wing damselflies. They're gigantic, at least one of them is really big. This one's on behind the rock. I mean, in front of the rock. Maybe I can see it better. This is called a ruby, a ruby what, Jesse? Ruby spot. Ruby spot. Oh, look at that. At rest. That's why I thought it was a dragonfly for a minute. Okay, got it. This is still a pretty one and a big one too. What I'm used to. Okay, I almost. These are the giant whirligig beetles. I see some of the smaller Chirinus whirligig beetles. Some back swimmers, and let's look closely and see some of these tadpoles. Uh huh. What's up? Like, that is what is what thing? That thing on the, is that a tadpole on its back? Oh, wait, oh. Where are we looking? Oh, oh, oh yeah, it is. Okay. Oh, that's a fresh one. Yeah. Here we got hey. some canyon tree frog that? tadpoles grazing on algae. Yeah. Should we do? Should I do two? Would it be better to have a pair of them? I would do four or six. Okay. Like, yeah, I would, I would have, I would get multiples so okay. you could have them in your tank and then they might even breed. Okay. You know? Yeah, okay. I mean. Every single day at Sky Island Adventures, and this was as true for this trip as it was for my first trip there back in 2021, I saw multiple creatures I had never before seen in my life. And I want to make it clear that this video only includes a sampling of all the creatures that we saw. There were so many creatures that I didn't even manage to film. To name a few of those, we got a good look at a bobcat that was just loping down the road, a coyote, and apparently the coyotes around the area have some red wolf blood in them, and it certainly looked different from other coyotes that I had seen. There was a squadron of javelinas, a big herd of pronghorns, and the largest desert tiger centipede I've ever flipped. While we were flipping rocks on that topic, we found several Arizona bark scorpions. All right, I just flipped this rock, and there's a scorpion under it. Santorita, large claw. Yeah, scorpion is what it probably is. should be. And look, they, there, there might be. Oh no, that's that is a bark scorpion. Oh, oh this yes, is a bark it scorpion. Is. Yep, that's a bark yep. scorpion. Well, I was probably a little too close to it then. Oh, they're, uh, they're fine. Not, they're actually not as bad as you think. I mean, yeah, they're, actually, they're not I, great. I totally handled them before. Really? Yep. You want to see? Another of my favorite finds that morning were a couple of flatty wall spiders. I had read about them on the Bugs in Cyberspace website, but had never seen one in the wild. With some guidance from Jesse, I was able to collect one to bring home. Peter and Jesse said that they were fun and easy to keep. To be honest, it didn't take much to convince me, and now Flat Stanley is doing great, eating well, and has molted twice in my care. Before I share our evening adventures for the day, I want to thank my patrons. You helped make this trip possible. If you'd like to help keep this channel going and growing, please consider supporting us through Patreon. You can learn more by clicking the link at the end of the video or down in the description. Now, a good night of blacklighting is always a highlight of the trip, and Peter sets up the light around dusk. And over the course of the evening, not only do more and more insects come to the sheets, but different species come out at different times. In addition, we take little forays out into the surrounding area and find Lots of interesting creatures that don't come to the light. Oh, that is one of the cool ones that, that has that weird whoa. X pattern. Very cool tortoise beetle. I think that's the first one I've ever seen. In that's the life. first one yeah, I've same. ever seen. That For sure. Fantastic. So cool. That's one of the bigger ones that we see. There's a ladybug mimic one that we oh. see that's nearly that size. Cool. But that one has a real nice texture on it, too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it does. Looks like something pooped on it. Yep. <laughs> Lots of things look like bird poop. You're taking it in vertical rest. I don't know if you want to retake it. Males have three horns, but again, I think this is Strategus sessus. It's a little darker. Uh, the loweas tend to be a little bit more red, and neither the males nor the females have any notable horns. He's pretty big. In yeah. Sessus, but in a loeus, uh, it's like a triceratops with three big horns. Oh, cool. Here we go. What did you just say, Russ? I said, I'm <laughs> hoping to look for some prionis. <laughs> well, here you go. This one. Awesome. You, sh you should have asked the universe for something way better than <laughs> this <laughs> beetle. I mean, or maybe this is the best that uh, this is this is the best we can do here. It depends. I want to see if there are any um, pseudoscorpions under its elytra. Oh, well. 
I might catch another one. I don't know if I can do that one. Look at those mandibles. He really wants to give uh, somebody a <laughs> Yeah, a little pinch. Yeah. Let's see if we can get him to spread his wings. I thought maybe he would try to fly, but no. We'll put him down on the ground and see if we can get a squeak. Oh, you did get a prune. Yeah, I just wished for oh, it. And there I it have, was. Whoa. <laughs> Peter Fender. Are, that's some serious that fidgeting. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. They were way bigger See, than that. Comes back around. <laughs> he knows where I'm at. That's an organ like this big. Yeah. Do they get bigger than this? Yes. Big? Picking oh. this up to show Jessica, and she picked one of the same species up at the same time. Real difference in color pattern. This is a masked Schaefer. I don't remember the genus or species, but. They're related to Chrysina. They're in the subfamily of scarabs called Rudolini. And I don't know if anybody's ever uh, managed to or tr attempted to captive breed them, but um, you know, in, in the world of uh, big or shiny beetles, these ones probably don't make the cut, but. Really? I think they look like shiny wood. Yeah, they sure do. Yeah, they're pretty You gorgeous. see these, Ingrid? Oh, cool. Those are so pretty. Mm -hmm. Oh, I just caught a grass. Uh, on accident. <laughs> or it caught you. Exactly. Those are so beautiful. <laughs> they really are. Wow. Same, same subfamily take... as the Chrysina, but different genus. Wow. Like bamboo or something. Yeah. Whoops. Yeah. Whoops. Yeah, wood. It's the largest sphinx moth in the United States, I believe. Wow. Really. Whoa. Packy sphinx. It's oh my so God. fast. It's the thick sphinx. <laughs> <laughs> This is related to the hornworms. This is a Manduca fluorescens. Hopefully I'm saying it correctly, but it's beautiful. It's a pretty big moth. Let's get a closer look if we can. Wow. Yeah. This uh, sphinx so moth decided to land on me. It's a oh, yeah. pretty Hello. gorgeous creature. What's hanging out on the shore? Oh, yeah. yeah, this pattern is That's kind of blowing me away here. <laughs> yeah, so this is the last one you filmed too. Typhon Sphinx. That is, it reminds me of a style of art or something. I'm not yeah. sure. Agreed. Yeah. Exactly sure. what it is. Well, art deco Beautiful point, yeah. point to this. Yeah, art deco seems about right. Uh, Typhon Sphinx and a Paki Sphinx. Yep. Nice. That's kind of a cool photo with the contrast, mm -hmm. huh? Yeah, two of the big ones. It's beautiful. Yeah. They're, they're iridescent and... Almost like every... an opal. Yeah. Yeah. Wow, it's beautiful. The opal eyes of an owl fly. <laughs> I love that this little tiny little white Not mouth Not all of them so have cute. that divided eye. Some of them have a single eye. Oh, it's cool. It's like a leaf. You see how it's like sectioned off into three parts almost? Yeah. Oh, you got the star in the eye. That is a hard shot to get, Russ. Oh, oh we got beautiful. it. Beautiful. Oh, my God. What, oh. what was that Men in Black? The star is on Orion's belt or something like that? Do you remember that? I do remember that, yeah. <laughs> That's what I think of sometimes when I see That's that. So cool. You wow. really nailed the shot there. That is gorgeous. Can you send me some of those? Yeah, I'm going to see if I can get some stills from this. I wanted and, to put uh, a third one on my thing. Jessica, awesome. do you see this? Oh, hold on, let me stand up. Uh, wow. It's you can see the star in the eye. Yeah, that's so cool. It's like a star, so star beautiful. sapphire. Yeah. I can see great basin rattlesnakes near my home, but that's the only species I see. So it was a real treat when we got to see this one, which we believe was a black-tailed rattlesnake, just crawling across the wash not too far away from where we were blacklining. And then I'm going to show you a star-bellied orb weaver spider. Oh. Oh. Yes, and it is currently preying on two May beetles. Oh, <laughs> really? Yes, it's a oh. glutton. Do you see the red spotted toad right where uh, the light is right here in the middle of oh, where yeah. I'm circling? Um, it's blending yeah, in so well. Uh, is it on the wood or, or, or on the mud? It's, it's on the leaf litter down in the middle right there. Oh, yep. So I right at it. the top of yep, the yep. crown mm -hmm. of my light here. I see it. And then over there, 
the oh. star-bellied oh, yeah. orb weaver. You have to look at the body on this spider. It is not your spiny-backed orb weaver from Texas, okay. but it is our um, closest thing to it and one of my favorite spiders. Oh, cool. I've only ever seen a few in my life. There was wow. one right by the guest house code. a few months ago, a very young one, and I was hoping it would stay there, but it moved on. Beautiful. But this is this is not a setup shot. Those two beetles flew into the web. Yeah, I was like, what is going on? Yeah. It's like vibrating my nose. Star-bellied orb weaver. I think the genus is Acanthopyra. It's a, kind of a tricky one to remember. Did you just put that on your face? <laughs> That's such an incredible shape. Star-bellied orb weaver. Those spikes or something else. Wow. That is such a fantastic pattern. Spiky boy, as they say on Instagram. <laughs> B-O-I. Yes, C-O-I. There it is. Mm -hmm. That's the way it comes you gotta turn perfectly. Turn up the, down the bright, brightness. In the focus, yeah. There we go. Yeah. There we there. go. Oh, now I can I move my light to, too. If you hold it down, it'll hold the the exposure. But now you're not focused, so you gotta focus first. Oh. Mm -hmm. Ooh, you got some look at the patterning on that. It's called you. Amazing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. I can't. Oh, yes. Yes. So you can't yeah, so don't touch. I, yeah, let's not. No touch. Yeah, there's no reason. We're too far oh away from it. Oh my gosh. Whoa. These are pretty big ones. Oh, nice. What? So cool. Yeah. This is the Sonoran Desert Toad here. It's big. It's a big guy. He's just <laughs> chill, too. He's like hanging they out. They get considerably larger than this, about four times the mass, actually. Yeah. But. This is the biggest one we've seen. <laughs> <laughs> Hi! Oh, registered to buy shine. That's, 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 that's how I noticed it was a toad. Mm. I thought it was a nice. rocket first, and then I saw that. When I started, mm. awesome he flattened out so much. Yeah, he did. <laughs> yeah, you're okay. The, the poison glands are back behind the eyes there, and it, oh, okay. it didn't secrete on you. So I do have some hand sanitizer in the Ooh. car, though, that will hose you down with. <laughs> Oh, Samson pooped on me. <laughs> oh, look at that. Oh, oh my gosh. It's probably Sysphinx Montana. It could be Raspa, but... That's beautiful. Um, the one on the other side now. Here is a moth that mimics a broken stick and very effectively. Okay. But is that the critical? It's incredible. Okay. These guys are just hanging out. Got six moths, two <laughs> hands. It's <laughs> amazing. It's moth party. Oh, and I think one just landed on my head. Or something no. did. <laughs> something did for a second, but I think it took off. I would like to help you walk. Afuna pelma eodius is a tarantula species that occurs in the wild within a few minutes' drive of my house, but I've only seen a couple in all my years of frequenting their habitat. Afuna pelma calcotes in Arizona is another matter entirely. I've seen a lot of them, but I think this is the first one that I spotted myself. We were looking for scorpions when I spotted this one just a few inches from my right knee. And of course, no visit to southern Arizona in the monsoon season would be complete without seeing Chrysina gloriosa. Several, including these, were attracted to the blacklight, but I actually found one of them by the sound it made as I was passing a UV flashlight along a road cut looking for scorpions. I recognized the buzz as belonging to a hefty beetle, and when I trained my flashlight on it, there it was. Several more made it to the black lighting sheets that evening, which are the ones shown here. Thank you to our friends Peter Clausen and Jesse Green for another epic day of adventures. If you want to learn how to have your own Sky Island adventure, then check out the link down in the description, and stay tuned for day three of our trip as well. Thanks for watching. I post videos every Friday with live streams once a week as well. Please feel free to share, rate, comment, and if you haven't already, subscribe. And then tap the bell for all notifications so you don't miss my next video.
Sign does it toad. Look at that. Here's the male tarantula here. One of my toadies, probably. <laughs> <laughs>